everyone, I'm here with Jane O'Hara, who is a wonderful vegan artist and curator. And um, we're just going to talk a little bit about um, how she went vegan and um, about her work and how wonderful it is. Excited to be here. Yay! Um, so, to begin with, uh, tell us about the kind of art you were making before you went vegan. Um, nothing specific. I, I went to art school and I painted what they told me to paint and I've always done some, you know, landscapes and still lives and things like that. I did some imaginative work, but uh, I kind of got away from painting for a while for various other reasons. And um, when I got back to it, um, it was after I'd met my soon to be husband and we went painting together, doing landscapes. And after a few times of that, I realized I was bored with that. And so I realized I needed to put animals in my paintings. So that's how that started. And um, so I added animals into my paintings and they never left. Mm -hmm. And, um, but mostly it was, you know, celebrating their beauty, their humor, that sort of thing. And so, at what point did you have your vegan epiphany, as I like to call it? Yeah, um, it wasn't all at once. Um, I was, I think as I was looking for reference for my paintings, um, animals to put into my paintings, I was also learning, you know, I started to subscribe to PETA and uh, various organizations. I was learning some of the things that go on behind the scenes. And, um, so I didn't believe I could become vegan, so I, but I was always messing around with my diet. You know, mm -hmm. I dropped dairy fairly early on um, and things like that, but I would still have cheese, um, eggs, um, drop red meat at one point, mm -hmm. you know, then chicken, you know, so it was always a little back and forth with it all. Um, I'd say that the epiphany really was, uh, for my artwork, was um, when I went to the Byzantium exhibition at the Metropolitan Museum of Art and I saw all these paintings of the saints who had sacrificed their lives to God. And I just got this idea to, uh, you know, to put animals who have sacrificed their lives to higher powers. Of course, not a choice in their case. So, you know, I didn't want to do this painting. You know, I just figured, what am I going to do with it? Um, I'm not an activist. Uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I definitely did not feel that was my road. And so I tried to ignore it. But it just kept nagging at me and nagging at me. So eventually I was like, okay, I'll paint it. And so I painted it and, and getting the reference for all the different animals and the vestments had the various companies that they'd sacrificed their lives to. And, um, you know, I was just getting more and more information. And, but I still felt like I couldn't be vegan, you know. And uh, I remember a vegan friend of mine um, uh, at the opening that that, that piece was shown at um, wrote, Go Vegan in the in the in the book yeah. and I was like oh and I just I just remember eggs was like my last thing the yeah. last thing like I can't and what could be wrong with an egg anyway I'll get a free-range egg I'll get a you know that sort of thing mm -hmm. and then I learned about how you know hundreds of millions of baby male chicks are killed at birth basically or just uh, as little baby chicks because they're not bred as broilers, so they're useless. And um, I was like, okay, there's no, there's no safe zone. <laughs> so that was when I became vegan. And so I think that whole thing kind of upped the ante as far as um, my artwork as well. So the painting you're talking about is called Sacrifice. Yes. Right? So I never knew the backstory behind it. That's so uh, wonderful. Um, so Sacrifice was sort of, is that sort of like a, the marker, like before and after? Like, it is. I was I was beginning to have a darker kind of more worrisome element come into my paintings before I did sacrifice. Uh, I was using the road as a metaphor for um, vulnerability. So I had a painting called Pigs in the Road and, you know, that sort mm -hmm. of thing. And so um, 
I put some animals up on a pedestal so they had this uniqueness, but they were also very isolated. And, and so that kind of sentiment was starting to enter my work. But, but yeah, it was a turning point uh, sacrifice to really um, just jump right in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so now that you're vegan, um, how do you how how do you feel how do you feel different is there a is there a difference in your creative process you know uh, physically mentally emotionally spiritually all that stuff um, it's been a really profound change much more than I ever would have expected because uh, you know as I was approaching veganism as I was slowly getting there it was all about deprivation. It always felt like, what am I losing? Mm -hmm. And I never had any idea about what I was gonna gain. And the biggest thing I've gained is this just feeling of a clear conscience. Mm. Um, it's amazing. So that is huge. Uh, I also happen to think the vegan diet is very healthy. So um, I feel like I'm healthier than I was before. And um, what else? It's affected my artwork. Um, I think that when when I live in denial and that there's areas that I don't want to look at, it you know my heart can't open completely, and I just feel like my art my heart has opened more. Mm -hmm. So that definitely affects my artwork. You know, I just feel like I'm right there with the animals I'm painting. Mm -hmm. Um, so we are going to have lunch now. So um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I just want to ask Jane one more question, which is where can people connect with you online? Well, um, my website is my name.com, janeohara.com. You can also get to the same website, different part, beastsofburden.org. And uh, that's Beasts of Burden. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Instagram? Instagram. Mm -hmm. Animal Lounge, mm -hmm. um, Facebook, mm -hmm. cool, Twitter. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>